What's up folks, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle Shakur, I'm an adventure photographer and today I'll be showing you not only what's in my camera bag, but also how I put everything together to make traveling around the world with all my camera gear in airports a complete breeze. Let's get into it. Okay, so I just got back from a trip. All my stuff is still packed up, so it's gonna be super convenient. I'm gonna be unpacking my gear and let's, let's dive right into the backpacks that I use. The first bag that I use the most is this Backpack Pro by Douchebags. This is, I'll, I'll show you how it looks. It doesn't look like this, but the reason why it's compressed is because it goes into my suitcase when I'm traveling. I also use this new Shimoda, this big Shimoda backpack for any time I need a big hiking backpack on a trip. This comes in very handy as well. And then I use this hand luggage. I think it's called the Aviator by, uh, by Douchebags as well. And I use it in conjunction with the camera insert that goes along with the Backpack Pro. So yeah, that's four backpacks that I use and I use them all the time. Uh, what I do is I check in two of my bags, I put them in the suitcase, and then I have a small bag that I use with my hand luggage. And then when I get to destinations, I can switch between the backpacks depending on what I need. And it's, super, it's, it's been super, super handy. Uh, so this is my main body that I use, uh, along with the main lens that I use the most. I use the 5D Mark IV. It's a super old camera, but I'm kind of like saving my money a little bit because I know Canon's gonna come out with a mirrorless very soon. It's a complete beast, totally banged up. It's, be it's been beaten up and scratched to, to high heavens, but it does the job. It does the job very well. First major lens that I use is the 24 to 70. This LC's lens by Canon, as you can see, is also super, super scratched up just because I, I, I prefer to use my gear. It's dinged in the corner as well, scratches and nicks everywhere. It's kind of like my most used lens from 24 to 70. You can get pretty punched in at times and you can get very, very wide. So it's very, very good. So opening up my camera insert, I use all my lenses in conjunction with these Polo Pro lens caps. These things are a complete lifesaver. You know, usually when you put your lens cap in your pocket and you lose it, these are big enough that they don't get lost. And also, they provide your lenses with a lot of support. So I, I highly recommend these. So this is the next lens, the 16 to 35, also an L-series lens by Canon. Uh, I use this for wide photos, sometimes astrophotography if I'm in a pinch. Then I have a 70 to 200. I think this might be my favorite lens because of the kind of the range that it gives me. Some of the images that I've gotten with this, with this lens are absolutely fantastic and it has Im in uh, internal image stabilization, so it's very, very good. And it's f2.82, so it's a super fast lens. I'd highly recommend this lens, even though it comes at a very, very hefty price. Next thing in my camera bag is my filter set. So filters are very, very essential when you want to, when you're shooting video and you need to stop down the lights so you can maintain a certain shutter speed that you have. I don't know what brand this one is, but I've, I've actually labeled, I've labeled all the spots where things should go in my filter cases. And the filter set, the, fil the filter sets that I use are the Peter McKinnon, the Peter McKinnon variable NDs, and these help me to stop down light and increase the light in photos. Put them all in these, in this handy dandy filter case, wrap it up and it slides right into my backpack. The next most important thing that I use, especially for aerial photography is the Mavic Pro. So I have the second edition of the Mavic Pro, the, the one with the Hasselblad glass. And I also still ha have the Polo Pro filters on this as well. They come super, super handy when it's super bright out and I'm shooting blue waters, I'm trying to stop down the light. Just a little, a little bit of a pointer, if you're traveling with a lot of people, you might wanna mark your stuff. Put some dots on there to, to, to have kind of your marker on stuff. So all my items always have those three gold dots on them. This is super, super important. I, I'd like to make sure that I have a multitude of cards when I'm traveling. I have one, two, three, four, four 128 gigabyte cards and a couple of micro SD cards for the drones and also a CF card. Is this a CF or CFAS? It's a CF card. It's a CF card. So I have various, various storing, storing subjects that I want to use. I'm safe. No matter if, if one of the cards messes up, I can just put another card in. You don't want to mess around. If you're on site, if you're photographing, and you run out of space, you want to be able to recover really quickly. So in, to go in conjunction with my 70 to 200, actually, going back to lenses, I have this two times converter. So this gets me from 70 to 200 to about 140 to 400. 
if I still feel like that's not enough, I'll grab this guy. This guy usually stays in my suitcase when I travel. This is the Canon 100 to 400. Now it's not as fast as this lens, but it can zoom in. So if I take this two times converter, couple it with the 100 to 400, I can go all the way to 800 millimeter. And that's absolutely fantastic. These, I don't know what they're called. Fun savers. These fun saver cameras by Kodak. If you, for when you just want to capture moments, I'm actually gonna get one right now. Say cheese. Yeah. These, I've actually used so many of these. I'm yet to develop any of them. <laughs> so I don't know how they're gonna turn out, but I have a feeling that one day when I develop all these, I'm gonna be happy with all the stuff that I see. And that's, that's about it inside the camera bag. I have a bunch of, I have a mic muffler for my mic. I have another pull pull lens cap that goes on that camera, which is nice. And I have a bunch of British coins. All that stuff usually goes into my hand luggage, which is this bag, the aviator bag. My whole camera unit is inserted into my aviator bag. Inside here I have <laughs> convenient flip flops for the plane and also the, my, my bag of all my batteries. A whole bunch of DJI batteries and stuff. And then my drone, which goes into this hard case that I'll, I'll link below as well. Super handy, goes right there. And then the fun savers, they go, they go right there. So I have all my camera gear, zip that up. My whole, all my batteries that I would ever need for a job, zip that up and this goes with me everywhere I go. I never check this in, no matter the, <laughs> the weight limits on any single airplane, I've never checked this in and I will never check it in because they can always lose your stuff. And if what happens if you lose your stuff on a job? You try to, you're going to a trip to Lake Tahoe and you turn up and you're supposed to be taking pictures but you don't have any camera to do your pictures, what are you gonna do? So now these backpacks, these backpacks, these hiking backpacks and the uh, camera backpacks that go in conjunction with this, they would go into my big suitcase and I'd use them whenever I get on, on location. If I need a backpack to walk around for a day, then I'll use this backpack. If I need a backpack to hike around or to do something major, I'll use this backpack. And if I use a backpack just to go to a coffee shop or do something minor, I'll use this small one. Now you're saying, Carl, what's in here? In here is a bunch of personal items that also always come with me. I'm gonna break that down as well. <laughs> Firstly, and most importantly, when it comes to editing is not these, but <laughs> my laptop. Laptop is super handy. I have the, uh, the 15 inch, this is the new one, not the new one, the 16 inch is the newer now. If, I, if, I, if I'm not lazy, I'll let you know the specs. I'll, I'll research it and let you know. If I didn't research it, then I'm never gonna know. But anyway, I use the 15 inch MacBook, the, the slightly newer one. That's also always with me. And then these Bose QC, QC 35s, something like that. These are absolutely fantastic. Whenever any baby is crying, just listen to that. Can you hear that baby crying in the back? I'm gonna put sounds of babies crying. And then just put these on. Gone, all your problems have gone away. I don't care if there's a baby crying in the back. I don't care if it's, it's knives thrown on, gunshots, I don't care. I'm just in my zone, boom, editing, focused, you know? So this is what I use. That's, that's kind of what goes into my backpack. And then this actually, I got this as a gift from an ex-girlfriend and it contains my life's work. Hard drives from over the last couple of years. Recently I've switched from regular drives to now SSD. And these are much, much, much more convenient. These are two terabytes each, two, four, six, eight. It's about eight terabytes. And that's equally as much as this. This and this, same size, same comparison. Crazy, right? So I, I'm still gonna hang on to these because I still need the content from here, but I'm definitely never buying any drives anymore. I'm gonna only go with SSDs because they're much more convenient, they're much more compact, and they're actually much more reliable when it comes to like losing data. What else do I have inside this backpack? Uh, this is the case for the headphones. Uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses, this comes in very, very handy. Super, super handy for sunny days or if you're in snow and it's gonna be a lot of glare. They always stay in my backpack no matter where I'm going. A journal, a little sketch journal that I've, I recently started, so that my last entry was on the 
it was on, I, should, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Super important to put your thoughts down on paper. Power bank. This is an energy power bank for charging your phone on the go or charging your laptop if you're a little risque. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank. Super, super handy for, ugh. <laughs> Look at that, it's a complete mess. <laughs> okay, super, super handy. I keep saying super, super handy. This is my travel converter. I use this any country apart from South, South, South Africa, actually. They have like very weird plugs in South Africa. But most of the countries all, all take this. Any, any country that I'm in, I can definitely get some stuff on this if I want to. And then some more cords, more cords. Ah, yes, this actually was, is a new addition to my, to my travel list. I actually used to have a different other power strip, but I needed something that was small and travel friendly. So I got this, this little thing that actually is very compact. I can charge my phone, my laptop, my camera batteries, my phone, laptop, camera batteries, drone batteries, everything all together and it's super good. So if you're ever looking into traveling, I'd suggest getting into this. And then braided cord for iPhone charging, pen for sketching, and uh, last important, last and most important, these two, Vaseline and cocoa butter, because you know we can't be ashy out here. So I take these cocoa butter wherever I'm going, just so if I'm ever feeling like a little ashy, I can just go to the bathroom, wash my hands off, put a little bit of cocoa butter on there. Super handy for staying moisturized. And in the front of my, my backpack, always, just so that I'm always, always set to go. If I, if I, I never ever forget it because it's always in the front and this is always with me when I'm traveling. So what does this do? This hitches onto the front of my douchebag hand luggage, which means I don't have to have anything on my back when I travel. It makes travel a lot easier and a lot less stressful. It's a very good system. <laughs> we got this. Yes, we can move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have this tripod on here. You get that? It's a little, some janky tripod that I just picked up. Oh, watch the audio. Uh, some ja that's you. That's you right now. This is me over here, and that's you. I'm looking at you. What's up? What's good? You good? All right. Anyway, so yeah, that's the tripod. I don't know, it's like roll. It's some, I, I bought it in Paris. Some tri silly tri uh, travel tripod. And that is it. That is it, guys. Can you, can you get that on, on? Now that I've undone all this stuff, I have to pack up all my gear and get ready for my flight to Tahoe. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. you. Okay. I freaking made it. All right. So I don't know if I mentioned where we're going, but I'm going to Tahoe in California. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. So next week you see what I'm up to. Hit the like button if, you, if this video entertained you. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh, God.